This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the Aaron cell twin. Got it hooked up as a single right now. And we've got it hooked up to the pulse system. I'm going to be doing some tests pulsing some high frequencies through it so we can check it out. Then I'm going to run it straight. The Aaron cell is 3 inches by 6 and there are 15 plates in it. They're all stainless steel. We'll turn it on now. Running at 4.95 amps, 11.93 volts. And we're going to start varying the frequency. Turn it off for a minute. You can go to hydrogen tap tap dot com if you want to see some more pictures of the Aaron Cell twin. That's hydrogentap.com. Okay. Turn it on again. Start varying the frequencies. Varying the width and the frequency. If you notice the more amperage, the more hydrogen. Turn it off for a minute. One thing I think you've got to notice by now, and that is that The amount of hydrogen this cell is putting out is well equal to what you see on the tubes. The reason is, and the reason I'm using the plate system instead of the tube system, is because there's more area. It's that simple. You know what I'm going to do? Is hook this directly up, bypassing the pulse system. And if you're anything like me, hopefully some of you are, you can see we're getting much, much more hydrogen out of this system. I've got to turn it off. I've run a number of tests going up and down all the frequencies I can produce at least.
and I have not come across any magic spot yet. Now, I know there are people out there that are telling me to use capacitors and so forth. I haven't done that yet. I want to show you something interesting here. If you look over here, we're at 12 to 7. That's the volts on the battery. 12 to 8. Let's run it again. Going to turn it off. Twelve two seven. This is an effect that is not uncommon. It happens to lead acid batteries. The acid is actually working on the plates all the time, so you do get a recovery. What I want to do is alternate those cells around using electronics so fast that I'm getting the recovery all the time. That means I'm just skimming off the top. Theoretically, in my mind theoretically, I believe if you can do that we won't be using any voltage at all and we'll be able to do this same experiment with full battery and getting this same result what that means is we'll be running with no energy loss and making hydrogen at the same time. That will be the zero point energy that I'm after. Right now, if you watch this, this isn't the recovery that I'm after, but it sure shows the effect. It's just an explanation. So you can see how much hydrogen we're producing. The iron cell is doing its job. There's this one only has 15 plates and it is three by six. And if you look here, we're at 1227, back where we started from.